Hello, and welcome to another tip on Maximo. I'm your host, Chris Winston, with Project Tech. Today, we're going to continue our Start Center series with results sets, and the next one up will be key performance indicators. As always, should you have any additional topic requests, please send them to media at projectech.com. The results set you are already familiar with in the application when you run a query. On the list tab, after you run the query, you have your results set in front of you. The Start Center allows you to take that result set and bring it to the Start Center so it's available to you each time you log in. So essentially, each Start Center result set will begin with a saved query. It allows you to select and to sort the fields, that is, left to right, which fields appear. So it's a little bit of application designer. Uh, tools. Gives you some limited conditional formatting, uh, essentially color for the most part. It can be configured for graphical display instead of list uh, and you'll be able to toggle back and forth and contains active hyperlinks to the detail record or records that you choose from. If you choose to actually filter, you can filter very much like you can on the application list tab based on the fields uh, that are available for filtering. Uh, whenever you add a result set to uh, Start Center, you ought to always want to make sure that you give it a title. And Maximo will remind you once you have added it uh, that it hasn't been set up, and then you'll have to go ahead and set it up. And we'll go through that in just a moment. Uh, essentially, you will begin with the save query. And in some cases, you may have queries that appear in more than one application. So you want to pay attention to the column on the right, which shows you which application. Uh, that way, when you select a record, it'll go into that application uh, based on the choice that you make from this panel for the available queries. Then you move on to the column display, where you'll get to choose what columns that you want to have displayed with a check mark and then choose the order that you want them to display in left to right. Your conditional formatting and display options, you can choose a field, a specific field or condition attribute if you will, that you can use and then the actual data values uh, would be regulated based on what's evaluated and give you a different color. Keep in mind these are exact data values. System variables will not work. So get date or sys date, depending on your system, uh, those will not work here. You're actually looking at discrete values. Uh, last thing here is with chart options. And essentially you can do this when you set up the portlet, or once you have it set up, you can just modify it later. Uh, it's not required that you do it here, but it, it's an option. Probably a good idea if you know what you want to set it up with going forward. Um, just kind of an example this is what you'd have in terms of results set in a list. And it looks like these are, oh, this is from the previous one, which is conditionally colored based on the ABC classification. And the graphical view uh, displays then the, the same data and data set but it gives them to you in a bar chart and there's also a pie chart option as well and when you would actually click on a bar in this case it would take you into the application where the query was built and display then those ABC type in records so you get a chance to leverage the fact that these are active hyperlinks and get into the actual data within the application just as an example um, some, most times your result sets will be set up on the wide side of the screen, but for those things that have a few uh, columns, you can set them up on the narrow side. In this case, looking at current user information so that you can display, and this is just a little, little bit better view of it, uh, display who's currently logged into the system, and that's something available to you uh, within the application. And again, all of this is based on whether or not you have security rights. To see several examples, um, here you have a number of different results that's displayed. Uh, here's one where it looks like uh, 
result set to the title. So you probably don't want to have that. You want to make sure you put a title onto the result set uh, that's available when you go through the design. And if you forget about it, you can always come back to it later. Uh, and then for whatever conditions you have, you can choose um, to alter the color. For example, POs with open receipts, look like these are colored by uh, individual site. So that just actually looking at multiple sites, you, you don't have to have your results of looking at an individual site. You can look at multiples again, assuming you have actual rights. And let's see, let's go ahead and get into Maximo. And we'll go ahead and design. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead, we'll change our content. We're going to add result set. We'll add one on the left side, on the narrow side, and we'll add one on the right, the wide side. So our narrow side one will just make it easy, and we'll go ahead and grab the user info. So who's logged in? Let's see. And of course now I'm going to find the right query. Oh, lots of queries. Persons logged in. That's using the person record. Actually, let's see if we can get one using the user record. Yeah, there we go. We'll use that one. And then we'll grab a few let's see, default site, storeroom, failed logins. <coughs> Shouldn't have any of those. Um, Uh, grab status user ah, that's good and okay we we'll save that and we'll finish it off and it looks like we've got a few people logged in don't think I really like that order so let's go back here a couple of cosmetic changes. Uh, first, let's get the user up front. I want to know those bad logins right away. Uh, insert site, storeroom, status. One other thing, a couple of things I should do here. Let's shorten this up. And Let's take a look and grab one more field. There we are. I want to make sure they're using their default site as a display filter. And we'll change that title. And go to higher number. Yeah, it's a better display. So now we've got the primary information we're looking for. And the reason I grabbed the default, default uh, site filter, I want to make sure that for people using the application that they're seeing that and it is restricted to the records they're really looking for. Um, yeah, people have multiple site access. They can, of course, make a switch at any point in time. But it's, this can be more useful. Uh, to people as they're using the application. All right, so let's go ahead and set our wide one. We're going to grab, uh, let's see, let's take, uh, we have receivables somewhere. POs with open receipts. There we go. And we'll go. And let's see what we're going to grab. Oh, we got a few more fields in this case. Let's just filter a little bit. Uh, let's see. Order. Let's see what that does. Change description. Order date. Status, status date, total cost. That's good. 
And let's actually let's just go ahead and finish off, see what it looks like. Okay, and we can alter our order a little bit and add one more field. So let's go ahead and get back to the COM display. We're going to add the vendor and order. So we'll go with a PO number, description, order date, last change by, change date, current status, vendor, and total cost. And actually, let's go ahead and add one more field. Uh, make sure, let's get this right first. And yes, that's good. And let's go ahead and grab receipts. Well, we'll give it a high number. It should just push it out to the right. Okay, so this way we'll get a look at what our status is in receiving, whether it's none or partial. Our query is already limiting us to those that have none and partial. The completes won't show up here. So we'll make one more modification. And let's go ahead and say and display options based on receipts. There we go, it's our autofill working for us. And we're going to say when receipts are equal to none, uh, we'll make those blue. And partials. I'll make them green. We can also regulate the number of records that appear in the result set. So we're just going to bump that up a little bit. And I'm not going to set the chart options. I'll show you how you do that directly from the Start Center. So we'll go ahead and finish off here. And we can see we've got our our change in color here. We can scroll to the next page. And now we can go ahead and set the graphic options from here. And in this case, we'll go ahead with receipts again, which is okay. And then from here, we can go to graphic view. And we see on the partials, we've got nine. We can click on that link. And it takes us into the receiving application and shows us the nine purchase orders that have uh, partial receipts. So uh, that will take us through building a result set. And again, should you have other requests, please send an email to media at projecttech.com. Next up, key performance indicators. Thanks very much and have a good day. Bye.